don't know why I'm coming out here looking like a tomboy. Oh my gosh. Hi, golly chicks. This is your girl, Takaya Love. Y'all, I'm doing a, the camera check and I'm like, yo, Takaya, this ain't it. This the last time y'all gonna see me like this, like for real. No one I'm lying. But for real though, I'm, this the last time. So I am getting on here really, really quickly to talk about the election and just a little bit, not really much because it's already a done deal. The prophecy that the Lord gave me months ago and also uh, prophetic voices and how the Lord is about to do a sweep through. And I already told you guys months ago the by the word of the Lord, by his Holy Spirit, that he's getting ready to remove a lot of people um, in the body of Christ. He's bringing a lot of people down and he's exalting at the same time. But I want to start with this scripture. I want to start with Psalms chapter 75, verses 6 and 7. And it says this, No one from the east or the west or from the desert can exalt themselves. It is God who judges he brings down one and he exalts another. And I know that these Jezebel spirits are not going to like this. I know people who operate in controlling and manipulating spirits and you're used to getting your way and you're used to manipulating situations and outcomes in your own life are not going to like this. I am not talking about people of God who voted for one president, who voted for Kamala, who voted for uh, a different outcome and they didn't get it and they're hurting and they're sad and they're lost and they don't want to go backwards. I sympathize with y'all. Baby, I'm a black woman. Trust me. I sympathize with you all. But when the Lord gave me that word back in August, for whatever reason, he wanted this man back in office. I go with God over this. I go with God over this any day. Even if it don't make sense to me. My ancestors, our ancestors fought for this country with blood, sweat, and tears for us to have, I'm sorry y'all, for us to have the right to vote. I know how important this election was, but we have got to trust God. We have got to trust his will, even when we do not understand it. But the last thing that we as a nation need to be doing is speaking death over America, speaking curses over the very nation that we live in because the person that we prefer didn't win. She conceded with grace. She conceded with elegance. And y'all are still around here acting like fools. And I'm going to give people time because I know this just happened several hours ago. What, 4 or 5 in the morning? They called it. The AP called it. I know that. I get all of that. I know this is fresh. This is just day one. It hasn't even been 24 hours yet since the race was called. I know people need time. But attacking authentic voices in the prophetic because what we spoke came to pass per the Lord, you need deliverance for attacking other believers because they didn't believe or vote the way you wanted them to vote. You need deliverance. Okay. And when you are speaking ignorant, dark things over this nation, you are siding with Satan. You are siding with witches. You are siding with people who do not care about this nation. Because the Bible says, if you are really a Bible believing Christian, it says that death in life is in the power of the tongue. And yet, as soon as this man wins the office, you guys are throwing everything up in the air. You're speaking death. Oh, we finna go to darkness. Oh, we finna go through this. Oh, this, that, that. Ignorant. Speaking out of your emotions instead of saying God is still good. God is still sovereign. God is still just. And even when we do not understand it, we have got to trust the leading of the Lord. He exalts and he humbles. Four years ago, the Lord told me that he was going to humble President Trump. He said, I will use him like King Nebuchadnezzar. And as we all know in the Bible, King Nebuchadnezzar got his power stripped away from him. And it wasn't until he acknowledged God that God put him back on the throne. And this is what we just saw. God said to Kaya, not only is he going to win, but he's going to win by a landslide. And that's how you're going to know that I'm in it. And it happened. And now you're angry. You're upset. You're mad. And like I said, I get it. But now 
that this election has turned out the way that it has turned out, it is time to move forward. It is time to grow up and it is time to pray for Trump. It's time to pray for J.D. Vance, his wife, their children, their family, cover the nations, cover the rest of uh, the, the elect, cover everybody else that's on this board, the, the Republican ticket, the Democrats. So we do not get ungodly, sinful laws into this land that will make the judgment of God pour out on us like fire like fire and brimstone stop speaking your emotions and trust the God that you say that you serve because I guarantee you that Trump nor Kamala is going to lose friends and family members over y'all they gonna go home if they gotta cry it out they gotta pray it out they got to celebrate it out. Whatever they're going to do, they're going to go home to their families, eat dinner and watch TV and move on with the next day. They're not losing relationships like you. They're not losing family members over this like you. They're not degrading another person's salvation because they didn't vote the way that they wanted them to vote and calling people ignorant because they don't see the deeper picture. Not as foolish stuff. Foolish stuff. Jezebel experience running rampant in this nation. Running rampant on the men and the women of God who claim to have the Holy Ghost. Stop it. Your life and the friends that God has given you are allowed to think differently than you. They are allowed to follow what they feel God told them to do just like you are. And they are allowed the same grace that you feel that you have access to. And their grace isn't any less than yours because you don't agree and have the same belief that they have. Because they don't agree with you and, and believe the same way that you do. Then they suddenly go into hell. They salvation. They're going to be deceived. All this foolishness. Stop saying people are not saved. And coming against people. And using tactics to belittle them. And try to shake up their very foundation and their identity in God. Because they don't agree with you. God doesn't work like that. I know you may work like that. I know your friends may work like that. I know your colleagues, the party that you vote for may work like that. But God don't work like that. He's sovereign. And some of you have truly turned into church Jezebels. And you need deliverance. Mass deliverance. Because you are all for God's plan when you think stuff going to work out your way. You're all for God's plan when it's somebody that you like. You're all for God's plan until it's different than what you had in mind forgetting that he is sovereign over all and that is a sign of a people that truly do not trust God that's a sign of people who truly do not trust God now I have to do this I have to do this y'all believed prophecies from false prophets because they were dressed like this they had on their prayer shawls and they prophesied lies to y'all and they tickled your itching ears and they've been doing it even before this election forget the election I'm not even talking about that anymore I'm talking about the authentic prophecies of prophetic people in the body of Christ the authentic voices and prophecies and they are not coming out of the mouths of these people these people have ordained themselves and they did not come from God and their false prophecies are proof that they did not come from God but you were deceived because they dressed like this you were deceived because they came looking holy and shouting and saying that God you were deceived because of that as if this shawl makes anybody more holier than the next as if a prayer shawl makes anybody more anointed than the next. As if the prayer shawl is where the glory is in. As if the prayer shawl is where the oil is in. As if the prayer shawl is where the anointing is in. It's in God. It's in having a real, authentic relationship with God. And God is about to do a lot of exposing. He is about to do a lot of bringing down. Just as I read in Psalms. He's about to do a lot of exalting in the church. I'm not talking about the election anymore. I'm done with that. He's bringing up a lot of people and these people going to come out the caves. And I'm telling you, I have already warned the Saul's to repent. The body of Christ, many real authentic prophetic voices have already been sent out. 
have already warned the body of Christ to repent, especially for those who have been in power for a long time because the Davids are coming and they're coming to replace and they're coming quick. And all these false prophets who say it, thus say it the Lord, thus say it this, thus say it that. That is what I'm angry about. And angry because the false prophets who prophesied to you, their false predictions didn't come true like it wasn't going to come true anyway because it's false. And now you're attacking the real prophets even after what they said have come to pass. And it's not enough. It's your ears. You're still mad, still angry. Get delivered. Go seek help and ask God to rid you of the Jezebel spirit because that is what's on you. Let me tell y'all something about Jezebel real quick and then I'm going to end this video because I believe I have said what I needed to say. When a Jezebel spirit attacks you, if you are a prophetic person or a prophet, it always comes after your identity. We see that with Satan, if you be the son of God. We see that with Adam and Eve. Did God really say you will be just as powerful? They were already as powerful. They were already one with God. They didn't need that. It always attacks your identity. That is the number one sign of a Jezebel spirit. And it tries to shake up the very foundation. If you don't agree with it, if you don't side with it, oh, it comes against you hard and shoots arrows. And it tries to shake up the very foundation of your identity and walk in God and in Christ. And you see this with the prophet Elijah on the mount. When he's on the mountain and he's saying, hey, this is going to happen. He gave a strong prophetic word. The God that's, that's with us going to answer by fire. And if he ain't da 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 da, then your false God ain't going to do nothing. And he cracking jokes and laughing. Jezebel heard about it. He had a victory, killed all the false prophets. Jezebel heard about it. She sent one word and made this powerful man of God be on the run. After what he already prophesied came to pass, she tried to come against his identity, had him shaken, had him in a, in a cave, scared, thinking that he was going to die all oh, because she sent out a demonic word. Jezebel's try to shake up your identity. And as a prophet, as a prophetess, as a person, a child of God, even without all the titles, a true child of God. You've got to be strong in your identity. And if God tells you to say some or to release some, don't let these Jezebel spirits shake you up. Don't let them shake you up. Pray for their deliverance. And as a matter of fact, don't even respond to them. Because I said today, when people are inclined to hate you, when they are inclined to want something, to hate somebody, to be mad at, they will find a way and they will find a reason. They will find a way and they will find a reason. And y'all, like I said, about this election, I couldn't care less who would have won. If God would have gave me that same prophecy about Kamala months ago and said she was going to win by a landslide, I would be the exact same way because I trust God. And I know that just as he can work through Trump, he can work through anybody else. The Bible says that the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord and he turns it whithersoever he will. But when he told me that that was his will, I go with God. Nevertheless, I feel like I have said everything that I needed to say. All I have to say is, y'all, don't speak doom and gloom over this nation. Get out of your feelings. Speak life. Speak victory. And the next thing that y'all need to be praying against is bombs. Because God said there will be bombs. I have no clue when. I have no clue where. But he gave me that word months ago. I've already posted it. I'll post a link, I guess, in this video somewhere if I can. I saw so much soot, you can hardly breathe and go outside. So it's not over. You pray for our leaders. You pray for the people that were elected. You pray for the American citizens. Pray that these people will not get in there making laws contrary to the will of God. And we pray that wickedness will not be prevalent, that this nation will repent. And pray that the majority will turn back to God or try to turn back to God. Because it's been a lot of foolishness. Pray against bombs and missiles, terrorist attacks, and another assassination attempt on President Trump. That's what I need y'all to pray for. Okay, prayer warriors. Um, I love you guys. 
don't care if you don't like me. Don't care if you want if you unfollow me. I had a hundred people unfollow me and a hundred people to come. Don't really care. So y'all be blessed. I love you all. And always remember, when you know who's you walking with, it ain't hard to be a godly chick. All right, y'all be blessed. Don't be in despair. And don't let this election get you down because God is still on the throne. Bye, guys.